Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of AP Bassin. Today I'm on my roof. I'm gonna be unboxing the MTB Pro Edition for September. Yesterday was Friday, I came home from, from school. Eating some food, we're at the airport right now. And then I'm gonna go headed home today. Thank you. That barbecue took a lot longer than I thought. Just walked up to the gate and everybody's already on the plane, so. Another plane ride out of Birmingham. I uh, went out to dinner with my parents, but before I did that, I tried to attempt the slam in a pond not too far away from my house. The last time I fished that pond, I think, was in third grade, and I didn't catch a fish then, and I only caught one fish yesterday. I'll play some clips from that. I am back at my house in Illinois. What do I got here? I got an MTV Pro box that came in. I'm going to rig up these two rods. God, there's just nowhere to fish around here. I need to go pull up Google Maps and look at my options. I've got two rods rigged up right there. I've got a little swim bait and a whopper popper. Both baits were in the MTB box for this month. I'm going to go over this box as well. Hopefully I can catch some fish. I decided I'm... I was going to take this drone, but then I realized that I'm too close to an airport and I can't fly this thing. I was going to drive the bike, fly the drone, and carry the rods. Yeah, okay. Instead of that, I'm just going to wear this GoPro, bring my big camera, this, this. Alright, let's do some fishing. This is not a good idea. This is too far. We've gone like 0.3 miles. I'm out of shape. Ah. First off, I would like to apologize for the wind noise. Starting off with the whopper plopper. There's one. That's a good one. There we go. That's a chunky one right there, folks. Wow. Completed the first bait in the mystery tackle box, a little whopper plopper. That fish smoked it. I thought it was a lot bigger than that. Chunky fish. Throwing that whopper plopper on braid. Uh, just along the shorelines. I mean, it is It is still pretty sunny out. It's like 5 o'clock, so they're starting to move shallow. But that fish was literally right, right where she should be, right, right on the outside of a drain where there's some current. Okay, I did not put a knife in here. That's good. So this is a freedom. So I was throwing... The ultimate strike baits. See there. I was throwing that just on a hook and working it like a swim bait. But I think if I take this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just got kicked off that little spot. That guy uh, said it was private property, but this is actually a golf course uh, that's owned by the park district, and that was not even on his property. But it's funny how you can kind of categorize the people who kick you out. That guy was about 50 pounds overweight, and um, obviously had nothing better to do. Looked like he was uh, just about, looked like he was watching some TV. Oh, there was a bass right there. Looked like he was watching some TV and I disturbed his TV time. Well, I just broke John's rod. It's totaled. Comment below if you get the joke. Okay, my mom is coming to get me since these tires are really flat. Broke John's rod. Caught one bass. Missed like, I missed like five on the swim jig. They were all like dinkers. Didn't even get a chance to throw the trap. It's getting dark out now. This bike is about 
bend the rims. Just broke, almost broke the other rod. Well, and I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just create, filling in the story for you guys. I still did get the fish for about two hours. So first off is an empty box of Ultimate Strike baits. I missed a couple fish on this yesterday. Uh, it's just like a swim bait, but I have it right here rigged up. I was throwing it on a drop shot and throwing it on this Freedom Freedom Bait Stealth Rig, which is a pretty cool looking bait. I'm out of my roof, people are looking at me. So I had that swim bait rigged up on this Freedom Swinging Head. Uh, this one has no skirt. I was throwing the one with skirt and lost that one and then rigged up this one. Um, they seem to like this a lot. I got a lot of short strikes on it though because this pond didn't really have a lot of big fish. I thought uh, they could have even been bluegills. So those are the first two baits, the jig heads and then the swim baits. Next we got the famous Whopper Plopper which is actually the one I caught the fish on. Uh, this is an awesome bait. This is the 90 size I believe. Uh, I like this color too. What color is this? Blue blood. Really nice looking color there. I haven't done an unboxing in a while so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I was throwing this on braided line. I like to throw Whopper Ploppers on braided line. Some people like mono, some people like braid. I prefer braid. Uh, and a uh, seven foot rod is perfect for that Whopper Plopper. Then we've got the Yozuri Rattle Trap. I didn't get a chance to throw this bait, but it does look like a bluegill and it's very lifelike pattern. Uh, seven foot with some floral carbon would be perfect for this uh, sinking rattle trap. It's a little windy out here, folks. Next, we've got some Elite Tungsten, one eighth ounce. Uh, perfect for Texas rigs. Yeah, pretty much that's what you use uh, one eighth ounce uh, weights for, Texas rigs. Uh, this is the Elite Tungsten Company, 97% tungsten and chip resistant. Looking forward to trying these out. What was in your box? Uh, the Whopper Plopper was $13, Yozuri was $9.99, Stealth was $8.49, Ultimate Strike Minnow was $6.10, Worm Weights were $3.99. I'm not going to do all that math, but here's how much that box costs right here. That was the this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for the month of September. Unboxed on my roof. Unboxed on my roof. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and some clips from yesterday's fishing trip. Mystery Tackle Box Pro. On the roof. <laughs>